In this tutorial, we're going to demonstrate the text tools and how they work. Start a new project. Put the dimensions of 12. And we'll put 5 by 5 as the width and 3 quarter inch. Okay, I'm going to turn the wood grain off. And we're going to click on the blue text tool click on the board. Okay, text window opens up here. This looks uh, a little different than what it would in the basic software. So if you're using basic, uh, the, the tools are essentially the same. There's a few extras in Pro, but uh, we can still show you both with just this one tool. The main parts, this text window where you type in what you want is the same on both. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, type in a word and then we're going to pick a font and these are all the fonts that are on my computer and all the fonts uh, that I can carve with. Any, any true type font on your computer or any true type font that you add to your computer will be available for carving with the CarveRite system. Uh, once you select your font you can make it bold or italic uh, a lot of the basic kind of obvious things that most people understand the tools if you're adding like a block of copy a paragraph or something you can justify it right or left and then we can add an arc and this is where in the basic software you'll see a little window here that's displaying the uh, what's happening to the text. In the Pro software, you're actually seeing it on the board, so you can move this out of the way and actually look at the board and see how what you're doing is, is changing right there on the board. You can also uh, change the spacing of the lettering. You can space them out further. You can change the line spacing. If there's multiple lines here and you want to make them further apart or closer together you can change that and in the pro software you can actually change the font size right within this window and have it see it update right there on the board okay now we're going to talk about route mode route mode is the style of carving that the text is going to be uh, created with so raster is basically a, the carving style that all of your patterns are using it's the line by line shaping technique that you're going to use the carving bit to create. Outline and centerline both, both use V-bits and uh, we'll show you those in a minute. Let's look at raster first. Okay, so raster displays the text right there uh, as a carved pattern, just like what we, we discussed where it's uh, it's got the feather here and it raises up out of the board just like the patterns do when you lay them down on the board. Okay, let's look at the other techniques. Click the blue T and it opens up the text edit window and let's look at outline. We can use the same font. Let's just change it to outline here and then click OK. Okay, we can see here how it it used a V groove here to create a uh, outline of that font there. So this is a very quick and useful uh, tool to create a, a nice V cut effect. And let's look at the last technique here. Center line. Now centerline is an add-on module. Both raster and outline are free with the basic software and they're also in the pro version. Centerline text is an add-on module for the CarveRite system. It's sold separately and it gives the font this uh, engraved center uh, V-cut effect. 
this is uh, automatically calculated based on the width of the font. So if a font is um, thin, which I can double click on this here and edit it back up. Let's take that bold off. And maybe pick a, let's pick a smaller, thinner version of the font. And click OK. So when a font is thin, the uh, depth of the V cut is going to be determined by the width of that lettering. So if you're looking to get a deeper cut, you actually need to make a bolder letter or a bigger, uh, bigger font in some cases in order to get that deeper, wider, uh, more aggressive center line cut. So there we have it. That's a brief outline of all three text route modes. For further uh, demonstration of them in application, see the next tutorials on sign making.